Hey guys, this is Jake with Rock Speed FX. Today we're going to be taking you through the install of our removable snow flap kit. We have this 2018 M8000 Ascender chassis Articat here. We also offer the kit for the Polaris Access and the Yamaha Mountain Max. Alright, for the first step of this install, we're going to take our uh, 316 drill bit here and we're going to remove all the rivets on the stock snow flap. Now with the Articat snow flaps, there's four rivets on the top, but there's also two behind here that go into this rear grab bar bumper. With the Polaris, you only have four rivets on the top. Now for some of these rivets, if they end up being a little sticky, what you can do is you can just take a little bit of a punch here and just tap them right on through. Alright, for the next step what we're going to do is we're going to take this face plate that's provided in the kit. We're going to set it up here and the provided rivets that come with the kit. The way I like to do this is I like to put the two outside rivets in, grab a marker, and mark these two holes that are going to be drilled. Now with the Polaris kit, these holes do not need to be drilled because the aluminum already has voids behind it. So what we, go, what we do from there, we remove this face plate. I'm going to use a 5 16 drill and drill these two holes. We're then going to take the faceplate, put it back on there, and check that everything's lined up. If you'd like, you can run the drill through just to make sure your holes are perfectly lined up. And then we'll move on to riveting this piece on. All right, so after you have the holes drilled out, we put this faceplate back on. And with the Articat, these two outside rivets, you'll rivet them from the, the top side here. But with the Articat, depending on your rivet gun, I personally like to go from behind for these inside rivets. It makes it a little bit easier to get to with your rivet guns. Um, you can have a hand rivet gun. We're gonna use a pneumatic today. Additionally, when you're doing the Polaris kit, all the rivets will just be on the top. So the flipped rivets only apply to the Articat just because of clearance issues. So we'll grab our rivet gun here. I like to do both outsides first. And then come from below. Once that's secured, you can move on to the next step. All right, for the next step, we're gonna be taking this backer plate and securing it behind the face plate. So with this backer plate, you will notice that these rib nuts actually are offset slightly compared to these center rivets. So there is a top and bottom to this part. One way to check is to grab your snow flap and place the backer plate behind it. And you'll see that it fits in one direction in the other direction it doesn't like to fit in. So with the rib nuts, the clearance shorter on the top, that's the proper way to orientate this back part. So we're gonna take this part, I'm gonna set it here for right now, and then provided in the kit, we're gonna take the washers and the knobs. Now the washers go on with the beveled side up like that, and we'll place these in. This one has the washer already on it. Place this in on this side. We'll take our backer plate, proper side up, and we'll screw these in. Now as you're screwing these in, 
You don't want to screw it all the way in. You do want to allow some clearance for the snow flap to go in and out, but we can fine tune that in a little bit here. Our main concern right now is we want to be able to screw it in enough to get these nylock nuts on the back. But you can see the, everything's held in place currently. So you're gonna take these two nuts that are supplied in the kit. You wanna put these on the back side as well. All right, so you're gonna take these nuts that are supplied, put them on. You hold the knob with your hand. I have a 13 millimeter wrench right now. And I'm just gonna, what I'm looking for here is I want this nut to basically be flush with the end of the threaded bolt. So you can see there I have about one thread sticking through. I'd say that's about good. You don't want to go too far, but you want to at least have this nut on enough to where it locks on. So I'll do the same for this side. And see on this side, I actually had to screw in the backer plate a little bit to allow me a little more clearance. You may have to do that. So there we go. So the nuts are on both sides equally. With those in place, that'll prevent this backer plate from coming off. All right guys, for the final step of the install, we're gonna take the snow flap here and attach it to the sled. So what you wanna do is you wanna take up the slack in this back plate a little bit. If you get down here, you'll be able to see. Just tighten these up a little bit, take out some of that slack. Then you grab your snow flap and you want to align these slots with these knobs. So it'll go above the backer plate, but below the existing tunnel, like on the Articat, it'll go behind the tunnel lip. So we'll show you that here in the next clip. We'll get a, the camera up behind here and be able to show that to you, but you just slide it in like that. And now it is a little loose right now. So what you do is you just tighten these down a little bit I like to do a little bit on each side at a time. Once you get them kind of snug, you kind of see that there's still a little bit of play in it. Just pull everything down. Everything will kind of lock into place and get symmetrical. And then just tighten these down. So from there, your snow flap's completely on, ready to go. All right guys, from this camera angle, we're gonna show you here what's going on behind. So like I said earlier, we're gonna take this snow flap, these slots right here, you're gonna go above this backer plate, slide it up in. From there, you're gonna tighten these knobs up. Just like that. Keep them a little bit loose before you tighten everything down. Pull the flap nice and snug towards the bottom. And then you can go ahead and tighten everything down, ready to go. All right guys, so with your install complete, now we're gonna show you how to remove it when you're out on the trail or out riding. So you're gonna start, you just loosen these knobs up. Usually it only takes a couple turns per side. Snow flap comes right out. You can stow this away, trailer, truck, strap it to your tunnel. Once you have that put away and you're gonna run without a snow flap, I like to tighten these up, that way nothing rattles in the back. With those snugged up, you're good to go for a day of riding.